Hi everyone, and welcome to another Zombies Are Cool painting tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to paint a Winter Argus, a privateer press model from their Hordes line. Alright, so I begin by assembling the model, filling any gaps that need to be filled in, and removing any of the mould lines. To prime the model, I'm going to be using a Badger Patriot 105 airbrush. I now use a combination of Reaper Master Series white and black brush-on primer to undercoat the model. This mid-tone grey is going to be an excellent foundation for the white, which is going to cover the majority of the miniature. I now switch airbrushes to the Badger Renegade Chrome. I like to use this for all my fine detail work. I only ever use the Patriot for large areas of base coating, priming or varnishing. Alright, so now we're going to get on with continuing in our painting. But before we do this, I want to quickly introduce you to my airbrush thinner that I like to use for thinning all of my acrylic paints uh, to go through the airbrush. And this mixture is made up of 50% water, 30% drying retarder, 10% flow aid and 10% matte medium. And like I said, this thins the paint out really well and this is the mixture that I like to use for this purpose. I now apply my first highlight to the wolf using Reaper Master Series Ghost White. I'm covering up about 70% of that grey primer uh, which I just applied and this is just going on all of the raised areas which would be hit by most of the light. I now apply my final layer of airbrushed highlights. To do this I use a one-to-one -one mixture of Reaper Master Series Ghost White and Pure White. This is being applied much more selectively just to the raised areas of the model, paying a particular attention to the faces of the wolf. The model is now given a coat of gloss varnish to protect it from the solvents we're going to be using in the next stage. I now mix up an oil wash. For the solvent I use turpentine and obviously to pigment the wash I use oil paint as the name would suggest. For this purpose I use pure black oil paint and naturally this is an artist grade oil paint because I want it to have a nice high quality pigment. Cheapy dollar store paints probably won't be good enough for our application. This black oil wash is then applied to the entire model. This is going to really outline all of the details of the fur and of the armour plating etc and give us a lot more definition. After the oil wash is completely dry, I come back and do a bit of clean up work. To do this, I just use a brush dipped in some Windex, and I just run over some of the larger flat surfaces that might have received a bit of pooling uh, that's not looking so great, and I just clean off any imperfections. I then give the model a coat of matte varnish. I now do a final highlight on the model using a dry brushing technique and using Reaper Master Series Pure White. All of the green armour panels were base coated using Reaper Master Series Highland Moss. This is a pretty light green and the reason I'm using this colour is because I'm going to darken this considerably afterwards using several washes. I now begin the shading on the armour panels of the wolf. Now to do this I'm using a washing technique and to do this I use Reaper Master Series Jungle Moss and obviously this is thinned out to the consistency of wash and applied fairly liberally to the green areas of the model. I'm now applying the final layer of shading to the green armour and to do this I'm using Secret Weapon Soft Body Black Wash. Now something you're going to notice about the green armour on this model is that it's going to be really dark, it's going to be a very deep green and it's also going to lack contrast because I'm not going to really work up any highlights of any sort. Now the reason for this is because I want this deep green to really accentuate the gold filigree on the rest of the armour plating. I now base coat all of the leather straps using Reaper Master Series oiled leather. These leather areas are then given multiple washes of Vallejo game colour sepia and black diluted inks in order to give them a weathered and beaten appearance. The wolf's claws are base coated using Reaper Master Series pure black paint. 
All of the filigree of the model's armor is base coated using Formula P3 Blighted Gold. I then shade the gold areas using some glazes of Secret Weapon Soft Body Black Wash. I apply the first layer of highlights to the gold areas using Formula P3 Brass Balls. For the next layer of highlights on the gold areas, I use Formula P3 Solid Gold. For the final layer of highlights, I use a one-to-one -one mixture of Formula P3 Quicksilver and Solid Gold. This is applied to just the brightest areas where the most light would be catching this gold filigree design. I now use Formula P3 Pig Iron to dot in any of the studs or other silver details on the model. I then highlight the model's claws using Reaper Master Series Rainy Grey. I use some thinned out washes of Vallejo Game Color inks, red and violet, to paint in the interior of the model's mouths and also the model's eyes. Vallejo Game Color Bone White is used to pick out the teeth on the model. Finally, Reaper Master Series Pure White is used to highlight the teeth and also paint in the eyes. I stick the model down on its base and to create the water effects I use Sally's All Clear Multi-Purpose Co-Polymer Sealant. Uh, now this is a fantastic material for creating these really nice thick flowing sort of waves which we want to get on the base. Uh, now after I've you know created this and uh, made it look how I uh, want it, I allow it to dry and then I give it a coat of the secret weapon water effects as well and this is just going to give it a bit of a higher gloss finish and I also use that to sort of make the rocks look a bit more wet uh, because naturally the sealant is such a thick material I can't use it to coat all of the rocks uh, so I go back in with the thinner water effects made by secret weapon miniatures and this combination is going to create really nice dynamic flowing looking water which is exactly the effect we're going for.